Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is my HLModTech.com website. And right on front of it is my sweet little robot that we can edit. Friends, I'm going to show you how to add your logo to it in just a few minutes. So let's get cracking. Friends, right now on the front of hlmodtech.com, you can simply click on the design and it'll take you to the Tinkercad file. You can also watch the introduction video and the video I am adding at this moment will be right below here as soon as I'm done. So let's hit this robot design. If you've never been to Tinkercad, make sure you sign in with Google. It'll take you here. While you're here, friends, don't forget I really appreciate it if you give it a star and then hit copy and tinker. This gives you an exact copy of the last mod I made. This is also really fun because you can see all the pieces coming in that I did to cut this into the cool shapes. Now friends, I added something neat last night. I upgraded a few little things and I left you notes. So the notes I left you tell you how to mod this a little bit. But in this video, I'm also going to show you the steps so that you can see it really slick. So first things first, this foot and the word tube are separate. So you could instantly put something right here. Like if you wanted the word mic, boom, that will be put there. You don't have to group it any different because it'll just stay like that. It is attached to that face. If somehow you mess that up, so right now I'm gonna pull it out. The coolest way to get these back where you want is to put the work plane. So I clicked on this. I'm gonna click on that flat spot. And then if I hit D to drop it, it'll go back. So that's how you would change that word. Now this one, it says ungroup to edit. So if we ungroup this, notice it is still connected. So we need to ungroup it a second time. And now you've gotten to where the words are separate. So I'm going to click on you and you got to find the right angle to click it. And I'm going to put hi mic instead. Now you do have to regroup these. So let me show you how to do that. W is work plane, and I'm going to put it back. And I don't want the foot to group to any of this. So I'm going to hide that foot. And then back here, remember, we want this to cut before this connects. So we just lock that. And then we grab the front of the foot. And the easiest way to do this is to use top view, zoom to fit. And then when you grab, don't drag into the circle. Notice I stopped at that pink piece. When I group those, let's turn around and look at the front. High is cut in. Then we simply unlock this little piece and now we can group those together. So you have just modded your foot so it says hi Mike or whatever you would like it to. As it grouped you can see it snapped into transparent mode. If you've never seen that, this is how you fix it. So now quickly, let's get everything back for a second. This is the show all. And now I want to show you how to change the stuff on the belly and the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide all the pieces I don't need. I am right click dragging so I can see all those. If I draw a box that touches them, I can instantly hide all of that. I'm going to get rid of these little supports. Same way, I'm not deleting them. I am just hiding them. And then I'm going to hide the center. I'm going to first take a peek at this body. You can see how that is how it cuts out and all the parts go in. I'm going to remind you that these little dudes stay locked. That is so that we don't accidentally cut them out because then when you printed it, your legs would fall off. So friends, if we click on this and we ungroup it, you are instantly able to change the HL and the mod tech and you can change the get and the Kraken. That's all you need to do is change it once. So I'm going to go back here and change this to get epic just because it's silly. But you can see that's how you would build it and line it up. It already centered. If you don't have it centered, what you do is you hold down shift, click on the red piece, click on a line, make the clear red piece your master and put it centered. And let's change the front to, I'm going to make it my new channel, which would be cool if you guys subscribed. It is going to be called Doodle. And it's going to have the second one be Jams. 
If you've never seen a Doodle Jam, I'll have one loaded in here so that you can check it out. Doodle Jams is just a fun combination of music and some cool things on the screen so that you can either enjoy the tunes or find sweet tunes to use in your videos. Right now I'm going to do control down arrow to move the word jams down to where I want. If you want to be more fine, you can change the nudge. I'm going to grab the word doodle and do control down arrow to move it down too and get it exactly where I want. I think now that I've got the idea of making it doodle jams, I'm going to move to the back of this real quick and I'm going to make it royalty and I'm going to make the bottom one free. This ends up being cool because this is probably more like what you want to mod. Friends, when I do this, I am grabbing the black handle. Friends, when you nudge these, make sure you use the black handle so that they only go in one direction. You don't want to change the depth because then it'll cut in differently. This is gonna cut out good. I am gonna make it a little bit smaller. I've got the doodle jams. I am gonna right now grab all of this and group it. Let's take a look at what we made. There's doodle jams, royalty free is cut in the back. I like that. Let's bring everything back. And because I've made this combination, I'm gonna make this back into YouTube. So this one's easy, just backspace and type tube. And then this one, I'm going to have to do that ungroup again and ungroup again. And we're going to change that backspace to YOU. I'm going to lock this little guy too so I don't accidentally grab the hole. And now it's pretty easy to look at it from the top. And I can come all the way back almost to the blue piece, group it. And now I can quickly come back here and unlock this one and unlock this one and then they are ready for the final grouping. Once again, show all, and friends, we have just made a epic little Doodle Jams royalty-free robot. That's how easily you can brand this robot to be whatever you want. When you're done, simply grab it all and export it as an STL, and then slice it in your favorite design program couple of quick things friends if the notes are bugging you this is how you hide the notes and then also make sure that you change the name of the robot I find that I always have to backspace to do this so I'm just gonna backspace and put doodle jams and when I press enter it is saved and just like that friends you have modded your own awesome robot now friends if you want to mod something else I'm gonna just tell you the best way is to do control D I'm going to move this over and then play with it from there. And then once you've got your mod made, move it back into place so you can line it up. If you change the alignment, it won't move when you're done, which is frustrating. Friends, if you do come up with something cool, don't forget, please take time to share it with me. You can find me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also track me down on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Lastly, of course, don't forget you can also find me at hlmodtech.com. At the bottom of the page, you'll find this messaging tool, and you can reach out to me almost instantly. Don't forget if you visit the website, you can also visit the Tinkercad tab and track down all the other amazing lessons that I've made for you. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.